Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to add a gradient blur in Adobe Premiere Pro. So this is what we're adding. Down here is a blur into this. If you notice, uh, we turn off the blur, it looks like, you know, good. There's a nice gradient. You can apply this any, you know, sort of way that you would like. So let's get started on this. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import the footage and I'm just gonna delete off this layer. This footage is from Envato Elements, which is a great subscription-based service where you get a basically unlimited amount of stock footage, um, photos, etc., for a monthly fee. It's cool. I just searched mountains and found this neat clip right here. So to get this effect going, we're going to go into our effects. We're going to look for camera blur. Now, if that one isn't your favorite, there are other blurs like directional, Gaussian, etc. Use whichever one you want. Camera, I think, looks the most realistic for what we're trying to do here. We're then going to bring the blur maybe up to around you know 15 or so we're then going to click the square button now to make this so that it'll actually create a gradient we need to zoom out to 10 percent right here so we're going to go ahead and do just that we're going to zoom it out to 10 percent and when we do that we're then going to take this grab that bottom left there hold the shift key and drag it all the way at the end do the same for the other one and then with this one we want to go you know a decent height up here maybe about the height of the clip um so i'm gonna go just sort of right about there and then right about here as well this top one doesn't matter too terribly much you just want a nice clean line on the bottom one we'll then go back to fit and now we have a line that we can work with we'll then go to our feather and we're going to feather this out as much as we want our gradient to be feathered so maybe something like so and then we can, at this point, just move this line wherever we want. If we want to drag it up or we want to drag it down, we have that ability to do just that. So in this particular case, I'm going to probably move it right about here, about the horizon line. It's a good gradient right like that. And then now we have the top blurred and the bottom in focus. If we want to invert that, well, we just go back to our camera blur down to the invert button, and we do just that. Now the bottom is the one that is going to be gradient uh, gradiating, gradiating up to the top, creating a gradient up to the top, like so. And, and of course, we can always clip on this uh, once again. If we click on there and then the camera blur, and, or actually the mask itself, we can always grab it and move it. Always hold the shift key when you're doing this so that it goes perfectly up and down and you don't end up moving it right or left or something like that. And yeah, that's how you create a gradient blur pretty quickly in Adobe Premiere Pro. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you like this tutorial and like to learn more about Premiere Pro and effects and how to combine them to create crazy stuff like this, check out the link in the description below for my course, a Premiere Pro course that I have developed and created that teaches you all of the basics of Premiere Pro through effect-based learning. It is a really, really neat uh, course that will show you basically everything over here in the effects tab. So check that out. Until next time, everyone, see ya.